Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand IPv4 header in computer networks. The concepts of subnetting, subnet masking, variable length subnet mask and classless addressing, classful addressing has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class. Uh, this is the IPv4 header. So this diagram shows the complete details of IPv4 header. In this IPv4 header, so what this, uh, what are the different fields that are available in the IPv4 header, and what is the size of each and every field has been clearly mentioned here. Let's try to check all these concepts, and uh, we will also try to understand. So the discussion about each and every uh, every field we will try to understand in our later videos. At this point of time, in this video, we will try to understand the maximum size, the minimum size of the header, and the maximum size of the header. So that concept is very important to understand so let's try to re I'll, I'll, I'll read out all the fields and we'll try to have a brief introduction of each and every field here it is version the version uh, of the IPv packet uh, so in our case it is a uh, version 4 and the next one is header length the length of the header and uh, type of service we will discuss about it as uh, the context comes total length the number of bits uh, so the number of uh, uh, so the length of this entire field entire header including data so that is here it is identification next one is zero so this this zero this field a single bit field is uh, uh, zero it is left as zero so uh, it is always going to be zero and the next one is df df stands for do not fragment and next one is uh, uh, more fragments fragment offset time to live so in short it is also called as ttl so time to live is also called as ttl so time to live protocol uh, and the next one is header checksum and here here the field is source ip address we have discussed about this concept in our previous videos source ip address and destination ip addresses uh, and each of size 32 bits so ip addresses are of length 32 bits right and this this part of the header is very important to understand so this is options options means the content that is that we are going to insert in this field is optional so there is no guarantee that we are going to have uh, uh, the options for every ipv packet so they are going to vary from one packet to another packet so based upon the packet based upon the data so based upon the particular situation these op options are going to exist in the ipv4 header okay so they are going to vary from 0 to 40 bytes so all these are bits and this is bytes now what is the minimum length and maximum length of this ipv4 header for example if you take each and every row of the IP ipv4 it is 32 bit length see here 32 bit length each and every row means it is uh, 4 bytes 4 bytes in bytes it is 4 bytes if you take this this also 16 plus uh, 3 plus 13 16 plus 16 uh, 32 bits again 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 16 32 32 bits see 32 bits and 32 bits so each and every row every row in the sense uh, from the first row to first second third fourth and fifth all these fifth five rows are of size four bytes each again okay. four bytes and here these options are also third four bytes but they are going to vary so uh, if you take if you consider this also four bytes this also four bytes and this is also four bytes and all these fields are mandatory whenever we want to transmit the data uh, whenever whenever the ipv4 packet header is getting attached means these fields should be there they are mandatory they are not optional so the minimum length the minimum length of the ipv packet is uh, uh, it is 20 bytes it is 20 bytes and what is the maximum length 
so as the packet length is varying because of these options these options may present or may not present so the size of the ipv header is variable it is going to vary from one ipv packet to in the sense uh, whenever the transmission is happening that that ipv packet header length is going to vary so the minimum length is 20 bytes and what is the maximum length so uh, it is it is from 0 to 40 bytes if there are no options the minimum length uh, the the size of the ipv header is going to be 20 bytes if there are options so the maximum uh, number of bytes that are allocated for options is 40 bytes so the total length of the header if all the options are used it means it is 20 plus 40 20 plus 40 bytes which is going to be 60 bytes and the maximum length is this is the maximum length so the maximum length of the ipv header is 60 bytes so this point is very important to understand so the range of bytes that can be accommodated in the ip address is going to vary from 20 bytes to 60 bytes okay this is this is just an introduction to ipv4 header the uh, the detailed explanation of each and every field in the ip of ipv4 header will be ex explained in our later classes hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching